I was able to pull the harness up to expose these wires. I'm just going to re repair all this. I'm afraid it's going to be a uh, future problems because it's just not everything looks rusted. And uh, I'm going to use this connector here, this eyelet, and uh, I'm going to use this tool to crimp it. So um, let's see if it's going to work or not. I'm not going to be able to put everything in one eyelet because these wires are a little shorter now. I have to trim all of these because I can see that so these are black. It's it, the corrosion got a little bit deeper in it, and uh, so I'm going to trim them until I get to the good wires. I might even, you know, find a completely new ground point, and uh, that's not a bigger deal. But it's it's not an easy thing to do. But at least I was able to bring all this little closer so I can work on it. I'm not really crazy the way this looks. I mean, I uh, I trimmed this harness as far as I could. I mean, there are a couple more wires. They're still a little black. They're kind of stiff, and but I just can't trim it anymore because you know I'm going to ask for trouble. Now I'm gonna get this one on, and then uh, other. I got four more wires, and they're now short that I cannot put them in the same bundle, and. Uh, We'll see how it goes, but I'm afraid at some point this car might need a whole harness, but for now I think it will work. Put the electrical grease in it, and just to start, I'm going to use this crimper here, just to kind of get the wires together. Nice to have a smaller one. I done it. So, yeah, it's still pretty loose. Okay. At least I was able to bring it up so I can I can easily get to it now. The other four is gonna be a little more difficult, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use a smaller smaller crimper so it's, you know smaller eyelet so I think I can use uh, I really have to now watch so I don't I don't use lose these wires. It's really not easy at all. So I'm gonna, get some tension in it. Well, actually I can do this. I'm using 16 dies. We'll see if that works or not. I think it should. If not I can go smaller. Now of course when you have these multiple wires Make sure you don't <laughs> you don't miss the wire. So okay. it'd be nice to have extra hand. To use 10, it would be nice to have 12, but I just got this text message from the lady asking me that I figure out the problem with the windshield wiper. She was really concerned, of course. Now it's just starting to rain like crazy nowadays, and uh, well, the good thing we'll fix it.
basically I'm just trying to crank this down. Not the nicest looking, uh, no, this is a cheap Chinese tool, but it did the job. It's a good connection. Now I have to get other wires. Not bad. And now I have more here. But this actually went pretty well. I'm pretty pleased. And, uh, See how, how much I had to trim. I just kept shortening up the uh, harness to get to the better wire. But and now I'm just gonna take the uh, the shrink tool. Okay, all right guys, gonna finish it, wrap this up. Now, as you see, I, I got this one repaired. Now the other four wires, I had to um, actually make a splice and uh, solder a you know bigger wire on. Now I'm just gonna connect these two wires together and then put it together with this harness. Uh, this was a very very difficult. I am concerned about these two wires and they're going into the firewall I trimmed it as back as far as back as I could and uh, Still could not get to the a you know the best wiring the, These two are, are okay. These are still it. I could see the black crud on it, but and they're kind of stiff But that's the best I can do and now I'm gonna put the shrink tube over over this and then uh, connect it back together and and I actually so I had this zip tie, I put the zip tie around the wire to keep them straight and then also the, just to keep the tension on it so I can, I can uh, you know, put this shrink tube over it, this uh, low, uh, this uh, shrink tube that has a solder in it. It'll be okay, it's just a very kind of aggravating work, but it'll be fine. Okay, I'm putting these two wires together and I'm uh, using these pliers, crimping pliers for these connectors and the, uh, the splice looks okay. I, I had a shrink tube over and uh, it should be alright. Alright, that looks pretty nice. I like it. And I'm going to put this shrink tube over and uh, shrink tube over and put it back together. Wiring is done. You can see the uh, bolt is clean. The, uh, sorry. I clean up all the rust. Uh, got some uh, dielectrical grease. Both the eyelets are bolted on, and uh, put some uh, zip ties around and around the harness. And I'm gonna put this thing on and uh, be done. I'm gonna do a final check, put everything back together, and whew, this was a job. All right, everything's buttoned up. Final check. First speed, second, third, fourth, fifth, and then now we go to that uh, kind of low speed, constant low speed, and then a high speed. All right, everything's working. Well, I hope that was not confusing. I try to explain the best I can. Well, anyhow, my point is, you know, every time we have a circuit that has a relay in it you know the relay is exactly where we need to start our diagnosis this is how you can tap in a circuit you can look at the control side the low side you can actually get the funnel pretty quick you know by looking at the diagram there's a lot of components involved it's just a simple 
the windshield wiper, you got a two relay, you got of course the switch, you have a body control module, you got a fuses, all that's involved in uh, the uh, the fuse. I mean the relay is just right in the middle. That's going to give you the answer. You know what part of system is malfunctioning? Is it a switch? Is it a body control module? You know who is not doing what's supposed to be doing? If it's the relay that's bad, is it the uh, the motor? Of course, now this time it was the ground, but you have to cut the circuit in a half to find, you know, easiest path to the problem. And uh, this was a little difficult to repair the harness, unfortunately. I mean, everything is working fine. I'm happy the way it went, it went but I'm just not very... That, that two wires, that those two black wires, I think it's black and brown, the two of them are going into the, into the firewall they are not i mean i was able i cut it as far as back as i can to safely to be able to safely repair the harness i mean they were just not the best it's still kind of stiff and a little black and but other than that everything else went well so uh, this will be okay much better than replacing the whole freaking harness in this car which that would not be the case for sure and uh, you know that's you know Having a crimper, that was a, you know, that that was really blessing in this case to get that many wires together, and uh, you know, you just have to take the stuff off, out, whatever it ta takes to bring that harness back or up or down, whichever way, whichever way is easier to, you know, to get to it because you gotta get some tools into that. You know, it's easy to see the harness, but once you start putting the tools in and trying to do your repair, it may not be as easy as you think it's gonna be. And, uh, but you know, you just have to, <laughs> have to have a lot of patience to do it. So, okay guys, well, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.